So the first reason that I think men over 30 give up in life is that they tend to feel old. They tend to feel like they're just getting older. Maybe their body's not functioning as well as it used to. Maybe it's not as easy to get up in the morning. Maybe they're not feeling as fit or as energetic. Uh, you know, you drink and you get a worse hangover, whatever it is, you can't eat the same foods that you used to. And you're just generally not as um, as youthful as you once were. Now, if you're in your early 30s, that may not be true. This tends to, I find, happen, happen to me probably about mid to late 30s. But I started to feel a little bit like, oof, I can feel the age setting in. And you'll notice that a lot of your friends tend to say the same, the same type of thing. They tend to say, oh, man, I'm feeling old. You know, look at me. I've got a few gray hairs. And you can see for me, I've got a few right here. And, uh, yeah, they start to mention this, this kind of idea starts to creep in a little bit. And you're at the age of 30, 35, 40. And lo and behold, you're almost at middle age. And so you start to feel a little bit old. And I think this is one of the reasons that men start to kind of give up a little bit. They feel like, well, my life's been used up. I'm past my prime. But we do tend to have this attitude that we're feeling old and we're not we're not feeling great about ourselves. The second, I think, is that there tends to be more responsibilities when we get a little bit older. So when we get into our 30s, especially say 30, 35 and onwards, we tend to have a lot more responsibilities. We have mortgages, we have careers, we might have a family, we might have a partner, we have taxes we have to pay. You know, we have all these different things that we have to do if we want to fit into a conventional society. And these things keep us going, but at the same time, they kind of wear us down and they can make us feel like, oh, I'm just, I'm not enjoying life as much because it's very cyclical and we go through the same thing over and over again. So I think responsibilities can start to wear on us sometimes as well, where we don't realize they're stacking up and slowly one day they they kind of get the better of us, especially in our 30s and 40s and onwards as men. The third reason I think we start to give up is because of our peers. And this is no reflection on any one group of people per se, but I think if we look at the people around us, very often we tend to become very much like them. So if we see people who aren't as excited about life or who aren't in good shape physically or don't have their financial future together or whatever it is, we can tend to fall into that same trap of copying or thinking this is it. This is the level that we're, we can all aspire to and this is as far as we can go. I do find that the people that we spend time with consistently, especially in our social life, they tend to start to shape the reality that, that we live in as well. So whoever you're spending time with will start to affect you. And if you feel like life isn't as exciting as it once was, maybe it's because of the people that you're spending a lot of time with. The fourth reason is there's a bit of a reality check. Now, this one I think happens to every man at some stage. Maybe you get dumped in a relationship. Maybe you get fired from a job. Maybe a business fails. Maybe some hope or ambition that you had for your life doesn't work out like you thought. And you have kind of a hard reality check of some type and your life kind of goes haywire or things fall apart or something like that. Now, for a lot of men, this is kind of the sign that, okay, it's time to give up. It's time to just accept my place in life. And, you know, they might call themselves a loser or they might feel like they've fallen behind everybody else or whatever the feeling is. But that may or may not be true. But the reality is that you've had a reality check. You've just, you've kind of rubbed up against life. You've hit the wall, whatever you want to use as a metaphor here. But you've gone through reality a little bit and it's worn on you. And I certainly found this probably in my early 30s when I got divorced I felt like wow you know I'm used goods now I'm not a I'm not a person who's as worthwhile because I failed in relationships and then even when I started my own business and it didn't succeed immediately within a year I started to think man I'm really bad at this I'm just not as good as I thought I would be but there was definitely a period where I felt like maybe I should just give up on these things and live a average life and stop trying to you know aspire to more if you like the next one I notice is a lack of energy and this one in particular, kind of linking back to feeling old, I think this one is linked especially to health. And I've noticed this for myself. If I don't take care of myself and I gain a bit of weight and I don't sleep well and I'm not exercising, I find that my energy levels get lower and lower and that actually reduces my motivation to do anything. Now, I noticed when I started speaking, I wasn't taking care of myself as well as I could have. And I noticed when I was on stage, I was tired a lot of the time, even though I wanted to give out my best performance to the audience, I couldn't because I didn't have a lot of energy. And so depending on your career choice and depending on your lifestyle that you want to live, it might be that you need to make some life decisions. I'm speaking to myself just as much as you, 
to actually think about how am I conserving and how am I using my energy? So there's psychic energy, there's physical energy, there's spiritual energy, there's mental energy, there's all these different types of social energy, and you have these kind of batteries in your life. And if you don't let them recharge, you will find that they will actually wear down. The next one, and probably the most important, I think, that starts to lack in our 30s and 40s as men is that we have no big picture. Now, you might call this a goal or a vision or a dream, you know, somewhere that you want to go in life, but we start to lack having a big picture. I think especially when we're young, you know, in our teens and our early 20s, we're full of aspirations and hope and optimism. And we think, yeah, I'm going to set the world on fire. I'm going to be a millionaire. I'm going to be world famous. I'm going to do all these amazing things with my life. And then as reality sets in, responsibilities set in and all these different things start to stack then we start to feel like, oh, maybe that vision wasn't as real as I thought. We start to fall into this trap of kind of forgetting about what we were doing or why we were doing what we were doing. With this in mind, let's look at some ways that I have found that I've started to overcome this feeling of wanting to give up. So the first thing I started to do was to reframe a lot of my situation. And so an example of this is if you have a big failure in your life, some sort of you know, reality check or some difficult circumstance, is to look at it and to say, what have I learned? And if you learn something from it, then it's actually not a failure, it's a learning experience. And that's an example of a reframe. Now that might sound a bit cheesy to some of you to think, well, big deal, I just look at every failure and I say, what did I learn? But if you start to do it proactively, maybe you write it down or you talk to someone else about it, you will find that you actually gain a lot from it. And the next time you seek for that same thing in your life or something similar, it's a lot easier for you to get it. The next one is to refresh. And this one I think in particular has to do with people in your life. And it can also be habits, it can be environment, things like that. I've talked about this in different videos. If you're just hanging around the same people all the time or you're doing the same things, eventually you start to get a little bit bored and you start to have that familiarity which breeds contempt. And so it's very important, I think, to keep meeting new people, putting yourself in situations where things are new and fresh and interesting and finding ways to kind of refresh your life whenever you can. And then the last one is to actually reinvent. And this is important to realize too, is that there's no rule that says you have to be the exact same person your whole life. Especially when we get into our 30s and 40s as men, we think, well, this is who I am. This is who I have to be for the rest of my life. And there's nothing I can do. And that is not true, my friend. You can be whoever you want to be and you can change and act however you want to act. And I think for you, there's probably something in your life. All right, my friends. Well, that is my little session for today. I hope that that was interesting for all of you. As I said, this is something that I had been thinking about for a while and how I would uh, position this. I think all of us go through phases in our lives where we kind of feel like we just want to give up. We don't really want to keep going or keep persisting in what we're doing. And sometimes it can help to just stop for a couple of days. But I think you'll find at the end of it all, really, you do want to keep going. And maybe it just takes a shift in perspective to actually get you back on track and on the way to where you want to be.